Hi everybody! So a couple months ago I did a time trial. Um, I did one at 15 minutes, one at 10 minutes, and one at 5 minutes to see how many mugs I could throw, how many bump cups I could throw in that time period. So um, at the time I had injured my wrist and wasn't really sure how much I could throw and so I actually wanted to revisit in this video. Now I'm not going to be doing um, all of the time trials like the 15, the 10, and the 5. Um, I don't have enough bats or enough clay for that at the moment but I thought that it might be fun to revisit the 15 minute time and see if I could improve how many bump cups I actually threw in that time and it's actually really nice outside today. Um, it's not raining and hailing and snowing and doing all three at the same time like it has been. <laughs> so I'm kind of excited to be able to have the garage door open and to let in some light and to be able to record a video without it being so dark and like gloomy in here. And also my footage really hasn't been showing up, uh, up very well because you know my light broke and all that jazz and uh, anyways got a nice day can have the garage door open so we got some light in here and I can do a video so I thought we'd do a fun one to see if I could improve on how many uh, bump cups I threw in 15 minutes um, so the last one if you haven't seen that video um, the last time I did a time trial I threw six uh, bump cups in 15 minutes and I was kind of disappointed. I didn't think that that was very many um, I, I since have gotten a few really sweet comments about how um, that actually was a lot and um, Anyways, I thought it would just be kind of fun to revisit it and see if I could actually do more than 6 in 15 minutes Especially now that my wrist isn't bothering me as much as it did in that video. So yeah So really quick, I'm going to get all of my bats all ready to go so I can just grab them and throw a piece of clay on and then we're also going to take this big old bag of clay and break it out into a bunch of different pieces. Um, I usually use about one pound uh, around there for my bump cups so that's what I'll do. I'll just section off a bunch of one pound um, clay pieces have them all ready to go so I can just grab a bat, grab a clay and try to do this as fast as we can. we have about 10 balls of clay right here yeah so we're gonna try yeah we're gonna get started and do 15 minute timer like I said I'll have that on my phone and I have all of my clay wedged up I have my bats ready and we'll just start the timer and then see how many I can throw in the 15 minutes So we got 15 minutes, kind of hard to read, but we got about 15 minutes on the phone timer. I'll put it right here.
All right, so that was a little harrowing. Um, my camera decided to die like in the middle of me throwing. Um, so I was like, stop throwing, stop the timer. Had to get on my phone, film that really quick, you know, start the timer and all that stuff again. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of frustrated that it wasn't like a full 15 minutes, but it did get eight thrown. So it's good, it's good. So you're, you're on my phone right now while my battery charges um, on my camera. So you're going to be on my phone for a little bit. But I figured I would give you my thoughts and how it went. So besides it being a little awkward to record, um, the you know, the camera stopping and then me trying to stop the timer and like, not interfering with the throwing and stuff because like I'm one of those people that I want to finish what I'm doing before I start something else and so it was really hard for me to like just be like nope hands off stop the timer start it again so who knows if I hadn't had that fiasco happen I might have actually gotten nine done um but eight is better than six which is what I got last time so yeah thoughts um I am glad that I'm throwing as much as I am Although I feel like my, the quality control is quite a bit less throwing so fast <laughs> uh, for what that's worth. Um, so like, I'm definitely going to have to go back and finish the pieces, like fix them, rib them. I had like a piece of clay, like land on one of the pieces. So hopefully I can fix that. Um, but it was like, you know, you don't have enough time to fix it right now. You just got to go to the next one. Go to the next one. Um, so, like, it's really good for practice and stuff like that. But I definitely would not just leave them as they are and do it that way. I I would not. They, they definitely need to be smoothed out, um, have my rib go over them, trim them, things like that. I'm definitely going to do that before I actually, like, set them to dry and stuff like that um because it was a wild ride I don't know I'm two minds of it like I'm two minds about recommending it because like I definitely think my wheel throwing improves and I do get quite a bit more work done but the level of work in each piece is definitely less so yeah I don't know take that what you will that is kind of my two cents okay so here are the 12 pieces I got done in total. Four of them were kind of just warm-ups just to get myself back in the habit of throwing because it had been a couple weeks. And then, yeah, the other eight were from the time trial that I did. So, yeah, 12 bump cups. Not bad for a round of throwing. So, I'm pretty excited about that. So, my final thoughts with doing these time trials. I definitely not going to be making a habit of it. 
um, I got a lot done, like a lot more than I normally throw. I usually am a very careful thrower and try to throw the piece as perfectly as I can so that there's less trimming done. Um, so in that respect, I actually got a lot more than I would normally do in like 15 minutes. Uh, and normally it would take me like an hour, two hours to throw that many. So in that respect, like I did get a lot more work done. But I feel like, at the same time, my work wasn't as good as it normally is. And there were a lot of things that I kind of just didn't do that I would normally because I was trying to do it quickly. I found that I had to go back over the pieces that I threw and fix them. Like, I needed to flatten the bottoms out more or change the shape a little bit or do some trimming at the bottom. The amount that I threw last time, I would have felt so bad if I ended up doing worse or less. <laughs> or even the same really as the last time I did this um so yeah I am excited that I did like eight and 15 minutes instead of just six so there's that and yeah now I have 12 bump cups and I'm planning on listing some on my website I'm planning on listing or putting some in the shop that I'm in um and I'll probably do another round of bump cups just because I need to get started on my next collection which I probably will talk more about in the next video or you know when I do another vlog I'll probably talk about what the next collection I'm working on now that I'm done with the Alice in Wonderland. Um, I actually do have some shows coming up and I have pieces I specifically want to make for those shows so that's what we're going to be doing after this hopefully. Um, it is getting warmer. I'm really hoping that that will help with the lighting and so I can still do these videos. Um, I cannot promise I'm going to have a video every week just because it will be dependent on whether or not I have the light in the studio or not. Uh, but that's kind of what I'm looking forward to in the future. And then of course, once summer hits, I'll probably be making a lot more videos, be making a lot more pieces. And then of course we have the Raku to look forward to. I'm definitely getting that kiln back out and going to be using it a lot more. I didn't really get a lot of chances last year to do it, but I do plan on using it a lot this year. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the weather getting warmer and all the fun things that we're gonna be doing in the spring and the summer. So make sure that you subscribe and like and keep an eye out for all those awesome videos that are coming in, in the future. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.